Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today I wanted to talk to the new photographers out there, people who are just starting to get into photo developing, processing on their computers, on their laptops, whatever. Um, one of the things I'm often asked is what's the best software to use to actually process photos? And the problem that I often have in recommending software is that the learning curve for the likes of Lightroom, Photoshop is so steep. So it's actually a piece of software called Luminar 3. And this new version of Luminar brings all the power that was already within the software and also introduced new libraries and in the latest version a really really powerful editing tool which is super easy which is perfect for beginning photographers um, called Accent AI. It sounds a bit of a crazy term but it's basically artificial intelligence that analyzes your photographs and takes them from um, pretty mediocre, what comes straight out of the camera, and just adds a little bit of um, pizzazz, um, sprinkles a bit of digital magic dust over the top of them, so they look really, really good with one simple slider. Just that one slider on its own, I think makes this well worth the uh, minimal license fee. Um, and that's another really cool thing about it is the entry point to actually get this software um, it's around a hundred dollars which I think is extraordinary value for what's actually smashed inside this awesome bit of software <laughs> so I'm just opening up the software Luminar 3 at the moment the first thing you want to do when it does open up is come into the library module up here in the top right and where it says folders here you can actually click this plus icon here and then on your computer whether it's a PC or Mac you can navigate to the folder that contains your photos and then just select that and Luminar will start importing the photos. The photos that I've picked out are a selection that are representative of a broad genre of photography, a few landscape, a bit of portrait, but they're all from um, a family holiday. Um, they're nothing too special, but um, hopefully that will show you guys that whatever you're capturing at the moment with a simple slider, you can really improve your photos. So let's take a look at them. Let's start with this photo here. So as you can see, there's my daughter Amelia and she's walking along with her grandpa here. What we want to do to actually do anything to the photo is come into this edit section in the top right and from there we have a few sliders that are shown to us through this quick and awesome um, setup here. Now this is a workspace provided and it, I think it's the best and easiest place to start for a newcomer. Quick and awesome. So it does exactly what it says on the tin. So here we see this Accent AI filter boost. If we grab the slider and start to move that up, you can see that straight away that photograph has been dramatically improved. Um, if I take it away and add it again, if I do that fairly quickly, you'll see the change. So we have a fairly flat washed out photograph, push it to the right and it's enhanced the skies the shadows, the vibrance in the trees, um, everything about that photograph at the moment looks better. And as a new photographer, you could say, I'm happy with that, post to Instagram, and you look like a hero to your friends and family. Photo hero. Okay, let's move on to the next shot. So this is a typical kind of just shot. It's a snap, right? Um, my wife and my daughter here, their faces are in shadows, not very well lit. Um, like I say, literally a snapshot. It's not great, but let's grab that Accent AI, crank that to the right, and straight away we see so much more life in this photo. We've got colors in the shadows, in the water, more contrast in the image. That's with that one slider alone. That's why I love this so much. If you're just getting started, give this a go, amazing. So let's move on to this photograph here. This shows um, my son and daughter jumping into this water here uh, with all of their friends having a great old time. Currently very dark, very underexposed through the shadow areas here. Let's grab Accent AI filter, push that to the right, see what it does. It does a lot, that looks so good. 
If we take it away, add it in, you can see it's enhancing the sky, enhancing the water, and we really start to have those colors pop around these guys jumping into the water. Let's move on from there. Let's, let's give one more a go. So this is a landscape shot here. This was actually the same beach that I photographed this on just later in that day. And we can see a nice sunset going on here, or the sun has set, we're seeing a nice sky. Let's see what we can achieve with using the quick and awesome accent AI filter. So let's just boost up here. Mic drop, I'm out. <laughs> Mic drop, I'm out, I'm done. You really, for some photos, that is literally all you need to increase that slider. You can actually save having that slider boosted all the way up as a preset that you can then put onto all of your photos just with one click you say synchronize across all the photos and it will do this to all of them okay hopefully you've seen now what the ai slider is capable of and just how it can enhance your photography very very simply so let's move on and look at a couple of other features that this software has. Again, keeping it super simple, so if you're just starting out with this stuff, you can really make some impactful images with very, very little effort at all. Let's grab the AI slider and boost it up. Let's just see what it does. So straight away with this photo, we're increasing the contrast, the colors are becoming more vibrant. It's looking really, really nice. Um, but here's another slider underneath, AI Sky Enhancer. Let's grab that and see what that does. Ooh, we're bringing out that deep, rich blue into the sky. Yeah, really enjoying that. Another slider further down within this quick and awesome menu setup is the Clarity Slider. If I grab that and crank that, that starts to add a lot more contrast into the image. Let's say we push that Clarity Slider up We've boosted the AI filter all the way up and we've also boosted the sky enhancer. Let's say we push that all the way up as well. And we think that looks great. You go away, you make a cup of tea, coffee, you come back and you sit in front of your computer and you go, oh, I really took that too far. This is another thing that I really love about this software. We can actually dial back all of the changes we make to any photograph all in unison so rather than having to come in and individually grab each slider and adjust it at the bottom here we have filters amount we can grab that pull that out and we can either get rid of everything and see it all before go 100% which we've already thought is that's too much but we could kind of find a happy medium somewhere somewhere around the middle we could say hey around 59% that looks great and if you want to see your before and after on the photo, come up to this eye and the top here, hold it down, you'll see your before, let go, you see your after. Before, meh, after, boom. Before, meh, after, boom. Really happy with that. Okay, so you're cranking along and you've got yourself a nice shot of the Milky Way. That might be a little bit advanced for a brand new photographer. I'll leave that one. Let's jump on to this shot of my daughter. Give me a nice kiss in the sea. Um, apart from the wrinkles around my eyes, I love everything about this photo. So the fact that the horizon is wonky, I don't care. For me, being in this photo with my daughter, planting a nice big kiss on my face, love it. But let's see what we can do to improve this photo with the options we've got in this quick and awesome setup here so let's go accent ai grab this slide it to the right wow can you see how it's really enhancing the sky and the sea and at the same time as it's boosting all of that up and bringing out the contrast the ai in this software is intelligently recognizing where there's skin tones so our faces arms hands all of that is being left alone um, or modified very slightly. So whereas all the blues are being enriched, is that a word? The blues are being enriched, but our faces are being left alone. And I really love that. Um, very clever. Well done, eggs, eggheads at Skylum Labs. You've done a grand job there. Um, let's see the Sky Enhancer. Let's crank that up. Wow, that's taking it to the next level. See, for me, these sliders are so powerful, but as Spider-Man taught us, with great 
power comes great responsibility. So you don't want to go oh, go overcooking your photos. Um, but let's say you, you do get a little carried away. Um, we've increased some, let's say, saturation. Whoa, let's come down to the bottom here where this filters amount is and just pull it back. <gasps> nice. Okay, let's move on to this image here. This is this was a really nice location looking down this beach here. But at the moment, everything's looking a little flat and washed out. Um, in the olden days, uh, pre-Lightroom even, in Photoshop, I'd be working on the curve adjustments, levels, um, things like this to enhance the contrast. I might be um, painting more blue into the sky with, with special layers, adjustment layers, all things that you don't have to worry about when you've got this software. So look, I'll grab this AI filter again, boost it up, and I'm done. Jobs are good. Un. So I'm really happy with that as well. You could say you don't need to do anything more to that image than that one slider. And as I alluded to in the introduction, that is why I think this is so great for people just starting out. Incidentally, if you do want to get this software, um, Skylum have, who create the software, they've actually given me a uh, $10 discount code, which I can pass on to you guys. It's uh, AT Sky. 10 at sky 10 if you put that in at the checkout uh, you will be given um, a discount off of this software so yeah if you want to get yourself this get rolling with it um, take advantage of that okay guys let me show you one more thing that will really help you get started with this software like i say if you are new to post-production and editing your photos i think you're really going to enjoy what what this software has to offer because you've got the AI filter if I bring that up wow bring it back down this it's night and day it really is this photo it, it, yeah, it's it's nothing much going on there as soon as I bring this up it's brought all that richness and red tones where the setting sun was casting light over onto onto the um, cliffside here which I really really love but one more thing I want to show everyone is if you come down to the bottom strip, this film strip along the bottom here, we can see it says Luminar Looks, and currently I've got Landscape selected, but you can choose um, a look that you feel is appropriate to the style of photography you're doing. But at the moment, we're in Landscape, so let's leave it set on that. And then from here, we have a selection of different looks that we can apply. So that one's autumn colors. Deep sky, I like that. Dramatic landscape, a little too dark on this one I feel. Impressive. So that's gone for a more muted kind of look in the in the the blacks. Black and white landscape, really nice. Let's see. Mystic land, nice. Warm sunset. Surely that's going to be nice for this. Ah. Oh. Yes, so warm sunset. If we think, again, that's too much, you can grab the slider and pull it out. But in this case, I want every last drop of that filter on that. I really like that. So that, guys, is basically a quick run through of how a couple of sliders within this software can really help your photography move to the next level from something you've just captured. You know, I don't really know what to do with this. It's a nice image, but it's lacking something. I really want it to pop. This is a software that can help you do that with a couple of simple steps, you'll get there. Um, so you don't need to reinvent the wheel and figure out what all these different sliders and terms and curves and LUT mapping and what is all this. You don't need to know it initially. You can still get great photos right out of the box with that, just those couple of things I've shown you. Um, but if you want to take your photography to the next level, then this software will help you in terms of it's there for when you're ready to grow, it grows with you. Um, within the, what was that workspace that I showed you initially, which was quick and awesome, with the boost in there and the sky enhancer and clarity, saturation, vibrance. That's all there in quick and awesome. 
but if you want to go to the next level we can take things up with essentials and from here you have a really really powerful photo editor just in this one drop down here called develop that will allow you to tweak highlights bring up shadows see their shadows nice bring up your whites if you want it a little brighter blacks and from there if you're happy with the place your photos at from there then you can start layering on the accent ai and building it up from there the sky enhancer let's throw some of that on there really like the color vibrance let's bring that up or oh, let's make it a bit more orangey almost autumnal you can actually grab your color temperature at the top and change that so you've got so much depth with this software but you don't need to know it all initially unlike with lightroom and photoshop um, there's a lot you need to know just to get started so that's why i seriously recommend this if you are just starting out take time have a look at this i think currently they do the software with a 60 day money back guarantee so you can give it a try if you if it's not what you're hoping for you can just get your money back um, so give it a go guys um, you got nothing to lose and if you'd like me to do another video that just takes you a little bit deeper into this processing with some some of the other photos let me know leave me a comment this has been my first video in months i've been so swamped doing um photography jobs um it's been crazy absolutely crazy and i'm just really grateful to be able to find the time to sit down and do a video for you guys hope you liked it um yeah leave me a comment i'd appreciate it cheers guys catch you the next one bye